I was listening, uh, Raymond was selling some mushrooms uptown today, and I was listening, he went to use the bathroom, so I got to listen to the big stereo and the big Dodge. And uh, the Cook Brothers, well, I didn't blow the speakers out, Bobby. The Cook Brothers was singing a song, and it says, uh, when they chisel my name in stone, I'll be living in my brand new home. Hallelujah. And six foot under don't mean that much to me. Amen. And I've been dealing with some things, uh, with some people I've worked with, and uh, some of Mindy's friends and stuff that's walking through the valley of the death, and some coming. And, uh, and uh, God's really been close to my heart. Uh, God don't move away from my heart. I have a tendency sometimes to slip away from where I need to be. But... Seems like Sunday morning, yesterday, yesterday morning, we come in here. The power of God was so strong in this building. And uh, and uh, that uh, one guy had done on passed away. And we got one that's just, just, I mean, if God don't undertake, he'll be gone in a few days. And uh, and it, it, it changes things. But most of all, one of those boys, the one that passed on, believed that God was going to heal him and he didn't go to the doctor and he didn't he didn't mess with that at all and I got news for uh, everybody including his family he is healed now yeah he had the faith and uh, and so uh, I'm not a bit worried about him but uh, I am worried about his family the ones that still live and the ones that has to go through the part of letting that flesh go and then go and it wouldn't I'm sure they wouldn't call him back for anything in the world either but uh, you know, uh, God started dealing with my heart uh, a lot this weekend, uh, just uh, more than usual, and uh, and I'm real thankful for it. I'm thankful that revival was coming. Uh, I didn't work all last week. They keep threatening with me, making me work uh, every night, but God made it so I come tonight. So uh, anyway, I love all of you, and I'm just proud to be here, and I'm just thankful that uh, sometimes God just reaches down and shakes me, you know, and I'm thankful for it. You know, I need a whooping every once in a while, and and uh, if y'all keep uh, most of us, uh, uh, me mainly included, if you come around here enough, Brother Pat says that we'll get to your problems, or we're going to get to you, and you're going to see yourself in the mirror. And I do that quite often. But uh, it seemed like this weekend and starting into this revival is a little more than than more usual. Than usual. But God's good, and I love it. Good. God saw me.
going to say, and it just kind of went out of my mind, was I, I look around as I see these people that's passing on to go to be with the Lord or, or wherever their uh, destiny may be. And I'm so thankful, and I want to thank God tonight that I have a hope. I, I got a hope about where I'm going to go Amen. if I fall over and going out this door or up here in this pulpit or if I'm at work tomorrow. Hallelujah. It doesn't make any difference to me anymore because uh, I got that security in my heart. And, and it's a wonderful, wonderful peace of mind. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.